a place in tomorrow night's semi-final. The 6-1 win over Jack Klazowski. Blistering snooker on you. Just assess your own performance for us. Uh, yeah, really difficult to assess how you, you play. You know, I just, just I had a good practice session today. Uh, first time I've practiced in ages at a venue. So uh, after the first match, I just thought if I can just try and find something to take out of this tonight. And, you know, after I did and just, you know, I got going and got, in, got, in, got into the match pretty early. Then. The Welsh Open last week, you dropped just two frames en route to the final. Mm. You're playing like this here, and you know Jack Lazowski said that you look something like the best he's ever seen you play. <laughs> Earlier in the season, we spoke about the fact that you weren't really getting time to practice mm. away from tournaments, so you were seeing tournaments as practice time mm. on the on the table. Mm. Are we seeing the product of the fact that you've been playing in a lot of tournaments? Uh, do you know? Do you know? It actually, it was, a, it was a large practicing more before Christmas than I was after Christmas, <laughs> um, and I just got a bit fed up with people saying, "Oh, he's not practicing." And that's why he's missing balls. I'm thinking, well, I have been practicing, but just not like six hours a day, maybe two, three. But that's still quite a lot for me. And then since I got beat in December, I didn't actually pick my queue up before the Masters. I'd done about three days practice. But I told everyone I was doing six, seven hours a day. And they're like, oh, look, you can see the difference. I'm thinking, it just shows you what people just, you know, you, you say one thing and they believe you. So I just thought, I just, yeah, so it just shows you. It's, um, th this game doesn't make sense. There's no rule book to what you should and shouldn't do. Um, you know, I'm just I've just hit a little purple patch. You know, like I said, tomorrow could absolutely wheels fall off and not put a ball for the next three or four tournaments. So that's just the nature of it, I suppose. And a word for Jack, he's a real form player at the moment. He's he's reached a couple of finals in the last couple of months. You just didn't really give him a chance, but the one frame that you did, he went around the table quicker than you. Yeah, I was watching him, thinking like he must be on like three seconds per shot. You know, he's literally so fast and. Uh, He's got he's a he's an unbelievable talent, you know. He really, really is. He's a, he's a bit like me, you know. He can either be really good and or a bit loose and you know a bit open sometimes, and you know. But that's just you know that's how he plays, you know. And when he's on, he's he's very very dangerous. And you know, if I stop playing one day, I'd, I'd and if he picked the phone up to me and said, look, you know, is there anything, you know, would you, is there anything you think you can add to my game? I, I wouldn't hesitate because he's such a nice lad, um, and you know, for snooker, you want to see see players like Jack do well, you know, because, you know, he's, he's great on the eye and all, all my friends that watch snooker, he's like, he's like, if, if your favourite player is Selby, your second favourite player is always Jack Lazowski, you know, and if your favourite player is Mead and, you know, you, you like Jack second, you know, he's just one of them, you know, he's, um, you can't help but like watching him play, you know. Yeah, he's certainly a nice lad as well. Draw for the Gibraltar Open took place yesterday. We've got Stephen Hendry up against Matt Selt in the first. On Hendry's return, first of all, what do you make of it all? Listen, it's not for me to comment on Stephen's return. I'm just, you know, I just like, I, I, you know, just to support him. You know, he's a true great of our game. You know, and whatever decision he makes, let him make it. Let him enjoy it. Let him come and have, uh, have some fun on there. Try not have any expectations. You know, because the more expectations you put on, maybe Stephen, you know, the probably the less he'll want to come out. You know, if someone, if you know, if people come out and just went, look, you know, just expect the first year for him just to find his feet. You know. Um, just allow him to do that um, but whether he gets that freedom or not I don't know but I think you know if, if Snooker and everybody wants to see him in the game support him in that way and try and not sort of be on his back if he doesn't play so well if, if that makes sense mm. you, you spent almost a year out and came back on absolute fire yeah. do you think it's possible to spend as long out as he has and come back and win? Um, it's, it's really tough um, I just think you know I said to Stephen the other day I said you know try not expect anything for a long time you know just just look at the first just playing everything just look at the first year as just bedding yourself in I says and at some point you'll go okay I'm, I'm up to speed because it really really is tough yeah, it could be a mental thing but it'll be interesting to see I'm sure Barry Hawkins up next for you in the semi-final tomorrow night a player that you've played against many many times and you've got a great record against him yeah, I try not to look at the record, you know, just play each match, you know. I know if I go and play well, I've got a chance, good chance of winning. If my form is not great and Barry's is, then, you know, Barry's going to be uh, the winner tomorrow. You know, when you get to the semi-finals of the tournament, you know, it's, it's who plays better on the day, really. And if you don't play well, you kind of expect to lose in a way because, you know, at this stage of the tournament, um, you know, everyone sh should be on their, near to their game, you know. They certainly will, I'm sure. Well played today and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers.